Hello everyone. Before introducing myself, I would like to observe a moment of silence for the victims and families of anyone associated with gun violence across the United States. My name is Antonio Van Rill. Today I'll be discussing gun control and the implications it has for citizens for and against gun liberties. I was born and raised in Queens, New York. I'm not going to use any of the cliche terms that represent growing up in tough neighborhoods, but I have lost numerous family members and friends to gun violence. On the other hand, I'm also a strong proponent and advocate for the right to bear arms. I'm also a member of the National Rifle Association. After the initial onset of the pandemic came a national surge in gun violence and mass shootings. This flood of gun violence has no boundaries and has shown no mercy. This affects us all. We must be proactive. I will be discussing three things with you today. First, the need for gun control. Second, the importance of the preserving our right to bear arms. And third, if there will ever be a happy medium. I'll begin with the need for gun control. Mass shootings have historically been an American problem. The span from 2020 to 2021 has seen a record number of mass shootings. Eight slain in Atlanta, 10 murdered in Boulder, nine killed in San Jose. Those were just a few examples from the past few months of this current year. According to BBC News, the Las Vegas attack in 2017 was the worst mass shooting in recent U.S. history. And eight of the shootings with the highest number of casualties happened within the past 10 years. There is a common argument that less guns leads to a decrease in gun violence. According to Thought.com, looking at the example that Japan, with its strict firearm control laws and its almost non-existent national homicide rate, makes it clear that fewer guns and not more guns is the obvious answer. My next point brings me to an issue that is very important to me, the importance of preserving our right to bear arms. Written in our Constitution, our right to bear arms has withstood the test of time. Some say it was intentionally written in a vague way. Whether it was intentionally unclear or not, the right to bear arms has had lasting consequences and repercussions. The U.S. has 73 million responsible gun owners, according to Nature News. The rate of U.S. households with guns has held steady for two decades with gun owners amassing an increasing number of guns such that the total civilian stock has risen to some 265 million firearms. Generally speaking, these gun owners do not account for significant rates of gun violence offenders. Human and equal rights violations prompted many amendments to the Constitution. The right to bear arms should not be tampered with because no civil rights are violated. And for my last major point, if there will ever be a happy medium, there's an age old question. Do guns kill people or do people kill people? The answer to that is people with guns kill people. There is no problem without the other. Many believe that because of this, there will never be a happy medium. According to Time Magazine, while legislators in state houses in Washington can pass laws that may or not help, the most effective way to tackle our national problem is to stop thinking of gun control as a political battle and instead see gun violence as a public health issue. This may be the happy medium some seek. The public health perspective could channel precious resources into programs geared towards the health and psychological aspects of gun crime and violence. Many feel it is easier to become a legal gun owner in the U.S. than it is to become a legal driver. According to Time Magazine, to start, they can put in effect more rigorous requirements for owning firearms. To conclude, today we discussed the need for gun control, the importance of maintaining our Second Amendment right to bear arms, and if there will ever be a happy medium. 20,000 Americans were killed by gun violence last year alone but there are millions of responsible gun owners in the United States that take pride in their right to bear arms. We have had that right for over 200 years. We are one of only three nations worldwide with the right to bear arms written within our constitution. Unfortunately, in my opinion, there will never be a happy medium.